Hello everyone and welcome to my channel Advice to Think Twice. My name is Monica and I'm here with your quick advice love focus readings for the week starting August 31st, 2015. This reading is for coupled and single Aquarius people. Your general um, insight into the week and what you need to remember in case you get stuck and need some advice. Thank you so much for all your support. I truly appreciate it. And please bear in mind that these are general readings and so they may not apply to everybody watching or not in the same way. Okay, so for a coupled Aquarius people, you have the Nine of Earth with the Moon. So the Nine of Earth is all about enjoying life's um, little luxuries. It's about being su successful, it's about being proud of your own achievements, your own accomplishments. The moon is about secrets being revealed to you, being nostalgic, it's about reflections for this week. It could also be about illusions. Or it could be a time where you've, you have newfound passion and it's a romantic time and you're falling in love with your partner all, all over again. So these two cards together are telling me that this week you and your partner are focusing on your relationship, you're focusing on there's a lot of talking, there's a lot of things coming to the surface, secrets being revealed, whether you've been together a month, whether you've been together 10 years, there's still things that have to be said. Um, but it, it's a positive thing. This, these are positive revelations. Um, and these enlightenment this enlightenment that, that you have in your relationship this week makes your relationship grow it makes it um, richer more stable more secure you and your partner feel very much on the same page and you feel like you truly are with the person you're meant to be with And you're very proud of your relationship this week and how far you've come in your relationship. But again, it's open and honest communication, romantic gestures, finding new passion for each other, falling in love again, that kind of thing. It's a, it's a really nice week. And what you need to remember, you have your wish is granted. What you've asked for is coming true. Now, if some of you are wishing for a child this week is when you have the conversation and you discover that your partner is on the same page as you are when it comes to that. If you are thinking about moving in together, you have the conversation, it goes well, you move in together. If you're thinking of buying a house, you have the conversation, your partner feels the same way and then you buy the house or you stop the process. It's that kind of thing. Whatever you wish for, open and honest communication with your partner will bring it to you this week. Okay, so that's what you need to bear in mind. For single Aquarius people, you have the world with the Ten of Pentacles. So the world is about a completion. It's about joy, contentment and gratitude. It's about the ending of one cycle so that a new cycle can begin. But it's a very happy ending and a very happy beginning. Um, what I'm seeing is that for some of you, this could be an earth sign that you meet or start talking to this week. Earth signs are Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Um, and 
they show true potential for you to have a happy relationship with them, a stable relationship, a secure relationship. Um, someone you can really see yourself in the future with. And this is fated. This is happening because it is meant to happen at this time for you. And you need to go with the flow, accept the changes, go with the changes, be open to receiving, be flexible. But I'm really seeing a big change for you this week. And you are headed on a path, on a different path now, on a new path that leads to a happy, stable, secure family life for you in the future. And again, this could be with an earth sign. And if it's not an earth sign in particular, it is someone who's very realistic, kind, grounded, hardworking, and someone who feels for you the way you feel about them. Okay, and what you need to remember, you have perfect timing. This is the right time for you to move forward. Okay, so again, it's completion and new beginning. So that's movement. Okay, you are moving forward and you're moving towards a stable future in your love and relationship so you could definitely meet someone this week you could definitely start talking to them start to date them start this relationship get it going because it's happening when it's meant to happen for you which is now and it will bring you a lot of joy and stability and security and happiness in your life And the cards are advising you to have confidence, believe in yourself, believe that you are on the right path, believe that you are doing the right things that you're supposed to be doing to attract happiness. Go with the flow, go with the changes, don't fight the changes, don't fight the endings that are coming in your life because they are happening so that new things can begin for you. Okay, so if you find yourself having a new perspective on love, go with it. If you find yourself having a new perspective when it comes to what partner you should have, go with it because it's coming at the perfect timing because this is happening now because you're so close to meeting that special person in your life okay so that is what i see for you aquarius people for the week of august 31st 2015 for your love and relationships please like share subscribe and comment let me know how these cards apply for you if they do um i appreciate all your support again thank you for being here with me I hope you've enjoyed the reading and you have a good week and I'll see you again next week. Take care.